Hello everyone. My West Ham clock in my living room is showing about 12 minutes past three and it's on the 6th of uh, January. Uh, I'm about to give you January's uh, general knowledge and music quiz and I'll explain that very shortly. In the between time, I've just come back from my exercise walk which took me to the end of that green down the slope next to the uh, boat yard along the bottom green and almost opposite to where I live normally I would come up that slope I used to come up that slope but I felt the route I took was a bit too short so I've lengthened it a bit by going up a bit further to the right and come up about two slopes further down. Anyway that's enough of my exercise walk, on with the quiz. Right, um, 45 minutes later <laughs> I recorded the, the, I kept on recording the knowledge quiz and realise afterwards I've mislaid the answers to it. <laughs> so I went hunting in my little box and I found some questions uh, with answers which I shall give it to you at the end. So the first 10 questions is about transport. So then I'll give you the 10 questions about music. But don't forget um, with the music ones, I'm going to be uh, giving you questions verbally by music, not playing any music, because of the grief I used to get from uh, YouTube and a little bit by Facebook, but mainly from YouTube regarding copyright. So I don't need no copyright because there's no music. I'm just going to speak the words of a song and you have to guess the title and who had the major hit with it and um, who was singing it, etc. So let's start off with the general knowledge. It's all to do with transport. Uh, question one. If you've got a bit of paper, I've mentioned it before, uh, write one to ten with transport or knowledge, whichever you want to put down, and then put a line under that and then put another title as music and one to ten again. You can do it on your own or with a partner in if they're in your bubble. Uh, you can sit there and do it together. It's up to you. There's no prizes. It's just have a, uh, a half an hour to an hour's fun answering some questions. So question one about knowledge. It's to do with transport. And there's one or two comical answers, put it like that. The question one is which great passenger liner is now preserved at Long Beach, California? Uh, question one is which great passenger liner is now preserved at Long Beach, California? Question two, how fast were the f first motorists in Britain allowed to drive, providing they were preceded or preceded with a man carrying a red flag? Won't break no speed limits doing that. Anyway, question two is how fast were the first motorists in Britain allowed to drive, providing they were preceded by a man carrying a red flag? Right, question three. In what aeroplane did Charles Lindbergh 
complete a solo crossing of the Atlant Atlantic in 1927. I'll read that again, question 3. In what aeroplane did Charles Lindbergh, uh, L-I-N-D-B-E-R-G-H, Lindbergh, complete a solo crossing of the Atlantic in 1927? Don't forget, if you go, I'm going too fast, you just pause your video, or, or pause this video and think about it, write the answer down and then carry on. Right, that was question um, three. Question four. <clears throat> Why did a US ferry, this is funny this is, this is really funny. <laughs> Why did a US ferry reduce its capacity from 250 seats to 230 seats in 1998? You wouldn't believe the answer. <laughs> you might know the answer. I hope you do. So question four. Why did a ferry, a US ferry, reduce its capacity from 250 seats to 230 seats in 1998? Question five. What is the... US equivalent of a British ring road. You know, ring road, road that goes around, <laughs> goes around in rings. <laughs> Question five, what is the US equivalent of a British ring road? Question six, which 1971 Spielberg film Star Dennis Weaver as a motorist menaced by a huge tanker truck. Mm. Not seen it myself, but there you go. Question six again is which 1971 Spielberg film starred Dennis Weaver as a motorist? menaced by a huge tanker truck and that was question six question seven who starred as the main time traveler doctor who when the series was re revived in 2005 i'll read that again question seven who starred as the main time traveller Doctor Who when the series was revived in 19, or, or 2005. So in 2005 Doctor Who was revived. Who played the time traveller? And question eight. Question eight. What was the name of a of the ferryman who in Greek mythology rose the dead across the stink stakes. <laughs> I'll spell it for you. S T Y X stakes. Never heard of it. Anyway, question eight again is What was the name of the ferryman who in Greek mythology rose the dead across the stakes? Whoever the stakes is. Right. Question nine. In which film does a Miss Froy do a disappearing act while on a train? Hmm. Question nine again. In which film does a Miss Froy do a disappearing act while on a train? Right, and finally, question 10. Which tennis player was nicknamed the Chattanooga Express? <laughs> I'll do that one again. Question 10. In which, which tennis player did, was nicknamed the Chattanooga Express? 
was question 10. Which tennis player was nicknamed the Chattanooga Express? Well, that completes um, all the knowledge questions that come under the heading of transport. I'm going to pause the video now and get the music ones correct for you, or ready for you. Back in a second. Hello. Fast forward for 18 hours. <laughs> Um, I may have a bit of a mess of the music uh, questions and giving you the answers. Plus, I had to transfer myself down to the end of the um, living room because it was getting a bit too dark and I put my light on so I could do it a little bit better next to my computer. But I ended up making loads of mistakes. I thought, well, Let's cut my losses and do it again in the morning. Plus, you've probably been reading about other things happening here at the court, which I wasn't happy about. More about that another time. Right, you've had the, the um, general knowledge uh, questions. I'm now going to read you out the words to some famous songs. And you have to guess the title of the song and who's singing it, the group, artist, whatever. Now, just across the road from where I'm sitting, a lorry has turned up with a crane on it, or digger on it, filling in a ditch that was created just before Christmas. You might be able to hear it faintly in the distance. Hopefully we'll get through this without too much noise, he says. Anyway, let's move on for the, the uh, music questions and after that I'll be giving you the answers to both the knowledge and the music questions. Now, <clears throat> I'll take my time. It was where I was going wrong last night. Question one. The words are as follows. Right. Question one. Lonely and blue... I'm alone with nothing to do. Oh, I've got plenty to do. So. Right, the words to the first song is Lonely and blue, I'm all, I'm all alone with nothing to do. Sounds good to me. So that was question one. Question three. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. Same thing. So who sung that? And what was it called? I'll read it again for you. Question two. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. So what was it called and who was singing it? Question three. Short one, this one. So it's five, uh, four words. I found my thrill. That's it. I found my thrill. Then it goes on to sing the title. So what was the title? And who was singing it? Easy one, that one. And question four. The first four questions are from the 60s. So I forgot to mention that earlier. And this is the fourth one from the 60s. Question four. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. You're going to give your love to me. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. You're going to give your love to me. Now, once you've guessed the title, I want the original singer given for your point for the singer. But for a bonus point, see if you can write down 
or remember the actual 60s band that had a cover version and a big hit with that record later in the 60s. So I'll read it again. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. You're going to give your love to me. Who sang the original? What was it called? And for a bonus point, who did a cover version later in the 60s? That completes the 60s. Now you've got three from the 70s. You've got ten questions in all. You had three, four from the 60s. You can have three from the 70s and three from the 80s. So question five, the first one from the 70s. People ask me how, how I've lived to now. I tell them I don't know. Sounds a bit sad to me. So question five, the people ask me how. How I've lived to now, I tell them I don't know. No, no, um, no comment with that one. Right. So who sung that, and what was it called? That's question five. If I'm going too fast for you, pause it or click pause on after each question and have a think about it, and then write it down. Or you can go back from the beginning and start again. Right, question six. We've got a thing going on. We both know that it's wrong. But it's much too strong to let it go now. Mm -hmm. Question six again. We've got a thing going on. We know that it's wrong. But it's much too strong. Strong. Uh, to let it go now. I'll read that one again. We've got a thing going on. We both know that it's wrong. But it's much too strong to let it go now. So who sung that? And what was the title? Right, we're going to move on to... Uh, Question uh, seven. I can't lie. No more of the darkness. All my pictures seem to fade to black and white. That sounds familiar. Write it down. So question seven is, I can't lie, no more of the darkness. All my pictures seem to fade to black and white. That was question seven. That was the three from the 70s now. Question eight. Cheers. Right, we're going to go on to three from the... 80s. Question 8. I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do. And I never thought I'd feel this way about you. So question 8 again. The words are I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do. And I never thought I'd feel this way about you. So who sang that? And what was it called? So question eight. That was question eight. <laughs> question nine. Nearly. <laughs> question nine is. If we can solve any problem. Why do we lose so many tears? Fact of life at the moment. Because question nine is Hey, if you if we can solve any problem, why do we lose so many tears? Hey, 
if we can solve any problem, why do we lose so many tears? So who sung that and what was it called? So you get a point for each, uh, for the artist and a point for the title. As with the one I, from the 60s I did earlier on, you get a bonus point if I ask you a bonus point. I mean, it's only one question out the whole lot. It's got a bonus point. Well, going on to question 10, the last one. A lot of words here, so I'll take my time. Funny how it seems. Always in time. <clears throat> but never line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe. This is the sound of my soul. <clears throat> I'll read that again. Question 10 is Funny how it seems Always in line I shall start that again. Went wrong. First one. Question 10 is Funny how it seems, always in time, but never line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe, this is the sound of my soul. You got that? I'll read that one again. Question 10. Funny how it seems, always in time, but never line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe. This is the sound of my soul. Well that, that completes all the words to the music questions. Unfortunately I can't play you the answers um, later but I will be giving you the answers verbally and I'll give, be giving you both sets of um, questions the knowledge and the music questions answers after a short break. I'll be back in a minute. Right. So if you've got your first ten questions, the knowledge questions written down, uh, here are the answers. And there's one very comical one as well. Right. This is under the heading of transport and knowledge. With question one, I asked which great passenger liner is now preserved at Long Beach in California? And the answer is the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary liner is now at Long Beach in California. Question two, how fast were the first motorists in Britain allowed to drive, providing they were preceded by a man carrying a red flag? So when the cars were first invented and they were on the road, how fast could they go? And the answer is four miles an hour. Be quicker to walk, I think. That's if you can walk four miles an hour. Anyway, that was the answer to question two. How fast were the motors allowed to drive in Britain, uh, providing they were preceded by a man carrying a red flag? And it's four miles per hour. Right, question three. In what aeroplane did Charles... Lindbergh complete a solo crossing of the Atlantic in 1927 and the plane was called Spirit of St. Louis. Spirit of St. Louis was the name of the plane, uh, or the first plane, with the solo crossing of the, Atlant of the Atlantic in 1927. So the spirit of St. Louis was the answer to question three. 
question four, and this is the funny one. It made me laugh anyway. <coughs> question four, why did a US ferry reduce its capacity from 250 seats to 230 seats in 1998? And you won't believe the answer. Because the US bottoms had got bigger. <laughs> because US bums had got bigger. <laughs> There's rather large people in the USA. One of them has been, just been voted out. More about him another time. So the answer to question four, why did a US ferry reduce its capacity from 250 seats to 230 seats in 1998 because US bottoms had got bigger. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on, question five. What is the US equivalent of a British ring road? In Britain we call them ring road, but in America they call them a Beltway, B E L T way. A beltway is the American version of a British ring road. Question six Which nineteen seventy one Spielberg film star that starred Dennis Weaver as a motorist menaced by a huge tanker truck and the film was called Duel D-U-E-L Duel I'll read it again which 1971 Spielberg film uh, starred Dennis Weaver as a mo uh, motorist menaced by a huge tanker truck and the film was called Duel D-U-E-L Question 7 who starred as the time traveller Doctor Who when the series was revived in 2005? Again, which. Not, no, no. Who starred as the time traveller Doctor Who when the series were, was revived in 2005? And the actor was Christopher, uh, Christopher Eccleston. Eccleston, E-C-C-L-E-S-T-O-N, Christopher Eccleston, who was the new Doctor Who in 2005. Right, question eight. What was the name of, a, of the ferryman who in Greek mythology rose the dead Across the stakes, dot stakes with S T Y X. What was the name of the ferryman who, in Greek mythology, rose the dead across the stakes? And it was somebody called Charon, C H A R O N, Charon or Charon, whichever way you want to pronounce it. That was the answer to question eight, Charon. That's Charon. Right, question nine. In which film does a Miss Froy, F-R-O-Y, a Miss Froy do a disappearing act while on a train? Right, in which film does a Miss Froy do a disappearing act while on a train? And the title of the film was The Lady Vanishes. Just like that. <laughs> the lady vanishes is the answer to question nine. Question ten. Which tennis player was nicknamed the Chaganugu Express? Which tennis player was nicknamed the Chaganugu Express? And it was Roscoe. Tanner. Roscoe Tanner. R O 
S C O E Roscoe Tanner T A N N E R that was the answer to question 10 of the knowledge quiz. Right, I'm going to just quickly dispose of the answers to the knowledge. I'm going to read you out now um, the answers to the music quiz. Cheers. Well, <clears throat> that lorry I told you about earlier that's pulled up to fill the hole in opposite the court. He's moved on about four yards and the man is sitting in his cab. Not doing a lot. That says it all. Alright, here's the answers to the music quiz. I was speaking the words to a song. All you had to do is write down the title and who sang it. So question one, the words were Lonely and blue, I'm all alone with nothing to do. Lonely and blue, I'm all alone with nothing to do. And the title of the song was Lonely Boy by Paul Anker. Lonely Boy by Paul Anker. <clears throat> I'll have a quick pause here, have a cough and a splutter. Hang on. Right. You just had question one of the music quiz. Uh, the answer was Lonely Boy by Paul Anker. Right, here's the words for question two. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. Well, I saw my baby walking with another man today. And the title of the record, it's probably from the 50s actually, is See You Later, Alligator. See You Later, Alligator. Um, by Bill Haley and the Comets. So Bill Haley and the Comets sang See You Later, Alligator. And it was the answer to question two. Question three was quite a simple one. I found my thrill. On Blueberry Hill, uh, that's the title of the song, Blueberry Hill, was the title and it was by Fats Domino. Fats Domino by uh, saying Blueberry Hill and it was the answer to question three. Question four, I'm going to tell you how it's going to be, you're going to give your love to me. They were the words. It was, it, the title was Not Fade Away and it was originally sung by Buddy Holly. I asked you also what was the 60s group that did a cover version of that record and had a hit with it and that was the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones! <coughs> so question four, I'm going to tell you how it's going to be you're going to give your love to me. And the title was uh, Not Fade Away and it was by Buddy Holly. And the Rolling Stones did a cover version. So you got both the Rolling Stones and Buddy Holly. You get yourself an extra point. Right, that was question four. Question five, this is from the 70s now. People ask me how, how I've live to now. I tell them I don't know. People ask me how, how I've lived to now. I tell them I don't know. And the title of the record is And I Love Her So by Perry Como. That rhymes, doesn't it? <laughs> so the people ask me how, how I've lived to now. I tell them I don't know. And the song title is And I Love You So by Perry Como. There you go. That's question five. Question six. We've got a thing going on. We both know that it's wrong. But it's too strong to let it go now. That's the words. I'll do them again. 
we've got a thing going on. We both know it's wrong, but it's much too strong to let it, to let it go now. And the title of the record was Me and Mrs. Jones. Me and Mrs. Jones by Billy Paul. That's Billy Paul was the artist and Me and Mrs. Jones was the title to question six. Question seven. I can't lie. No more of the darkness. All my pictures seem to fade to black and white. Read it again. I can't lie. No more of the darkness. All my pictures seem to fade to black and white. And the title of the record was Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. And it was by Elton John, of course. So Elton John, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, was the answer to question seven. Now we moved on to the 80s. Question 8. I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do. And I never thought I'd feel this way about you. Read it again. I never thought I'd miss you half as much as I do. And I never thought I'd feel this way about you. And it was called... It must be love, and it was by Madness. So Madness, it must be love, were the title of the answers to question eight. <coughs> question nine. Hey, if we can solve any problem, why do we lose so many tears? Read that again. Hey, if we can solve any problem, why do we lose so many tears? And the answer to the, or the title of that record was Every Time You Go Away. And it was by Paul Young. So Paul Young, Every Time You Go Away, was the answer to question nine. And finally, question ten. A lot of words. Funny how it seems, always in time, but never line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe, this is the sound of my soul. I'll read that again. How many... Uh, <laughs> start again. How... Funny how it seems. Always in time. But never line for dreams. Head over heels when toe to toe. This is the sound of my soul. And the title was True... And, and it was by Spandau Ballet. Spandau Ballet and True was the answer to question 10. Well, we seem to have got through that okay, eventually, a few little mistakes. Hope I'm making myself clear enough on the sound side of things. Uh, that's it, you've had your knowledge questions and answers, and you've had your music questions and answers. That completes uh, my January uh, video quiz. I'm going to load this up to uh, YouTube any moment and hopefully you'll receive it this evening. My clock, my West Ham clock is showing um, 10.45 and it is now 7th of January. And I'll speak to you again soon. I smile now.